Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Falls Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading is a reading that is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're feeling comfortable with and the rest of it just leave it aside. If you feel as though it doesn't fit with you, it doesn't sit well with you right now as you are, that's okay. Just let it be. It's a general reading so it does happen. If, however, you do have any questions and you would like to have a personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to um, send you the different type of readings that I can offer you so you can go and find that, those answers and find that guidance that you're seeking that you're just unable to find. Um, on another note, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed or you're a newcomer, have not yet subscribed, I welcome everybody back or new and um, please do take a brief moment to click on the little subscribe button to show your support to the channel, to myself and it is always greatly, greatly appreciated. So. With no further ado, I'm going to explain to you a little bit what I'm doing, who this is for, because it's really not what I usually do. What I usually do, I, I'm usually working with Oracle and Tarot, and I use some fortune telling cards, and I have a variety of different subjects. Now, this is in your unconscious, so it's really your unconscious who's changing and modifying and making you do some things throughout the day that you don't even realize that you're doing because it is that blind spot. So let's go and find what that blind spot is that is affecting you in your love relationships. Then I'm going to finish it off with a little um, heart and soul oracle card and a, a lover's oracle card. So let's begin with the blind spot. So the blind spot for you right over here is all about wanting to be right. Now, when you draw this sigil here, you are not clearly seeing that either consciously or subconsciously, you are wanting to be right more than you are wanting anything else. The truth in this situation is that it doesn't matter if you are right or not. You may be very wrong in this scenario or you may be very right. Either way, what matters is that you are valuing being right over everything else. And this is going to lead to pain. It is a warped priority to have if you want a genuine improvement to take place. If you are valuing being right over effectiveness, you need to ask yourself what your goal is. What do you get out of being right? In relationships, especially when it comes to conflict resolution, this will get us into a lot of trouble. It will make finding a solution impossible. It will lock us into a struggle of ego versus ego. We need to ask ourselves if we want to be right or have success. We need to ask ourselves if we want to be right or if we want connection because often these things are simply opposed. What we tend to do when we are defending our position is that we get louder as we feel ourselves losing ground relative to something that is very important to us. We talk over others, we interrupt, we shut others down, we try to convince everyone that we are right. It is akin to an alternate reality experience because we get feverish. Like a dog with food aggression over a bone. It feels like this because our brain has quite literally been hijacked. Our body is being flooded with stress chemicals because it feels as though it is being threatened. It doesn't matter whether that threat is an external threat or just the threat of shame. And the loss of power associated with being wrong. And so it chooses to shut down executive functions like compassion and strategy and openness. Instead, our instinct takes over and we do one of our four things. We fight, we keep arguing to the point, 
flee, revert to, and hide behind group consensus or exit the scene still convinced of our own rightness. We freeze, which is we disengage from the argument by shutting up while still maintaining our beliefs that we are right, or we appease. We make ourselves not a threat to our adversary by simply agreeing with him or her despite still believing that we are right. In all of these scenarios, we still do not let go of the idea that we are right. We simply avoided finding a meeting of minds. We prevented the critical sharing of information and opinions. We also got to the opposite reward of our body being flooded with chemicals that make us feel dominant and invincible, which happens when we argue to win. If you have drawn the sigil, you have to let go of the need to be right, and instead, you need to look to be understood. To do this, you'll have to put an effort into understanding others and listening to them and seeing them and feeling them. And when you do that for others, then they will want to do it for you. Everyone has important opinions, perspectives, and information to share. You will soon find that the reward of actual connection will trump the feeling of being right and providing that you are right. So this, my dear friends, is your blind spot. Um, as for the oracle over here, heart and soul, I have this card here reflects protection, freedom, and success. It won't be quick, it won't be easy, but you will succeed. And you are protected along the way. Free yourself of past doubts, fear, and guilt. Let go of fixed expectations, be flexible, adaptable, and open to new avenues and ideas. A higher power is trying to guide you. And the uh, Lover's Oracle, which is all about healing, and this is imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So that being said, my dear friends, is the ending of your um, reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated with you. It made sense. You enjoyed it. I hope you're going to try to apply it now that we brought it from the unconscious all the way to the conscious mode. Um, if you do have any questions, you would like to have a reading, please contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, have a great day. Thank you very much for being there. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll be seeing you soon.